Okay, so if you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit pause and just fill this back out from the first day. Okay, so these are the same simplifying radical expressions notes from the uh, previous lesson. Remember here that 2 radical 3 means 2 times radical 3. Okay. Now, we're moving from what we did yesterday on with numbers to also incorporating letters. Now, I want you to think about this. I want you to think about a cloning facility. And let's say cloning is just becoming a thing. And there's a place you can go when you have a lot of stuff to do. And when you go to this facility, it's not perfected. You can get yourself cloned, but only temporarily. So you can't go make a clone of yourself and then walk back out. What you do is you walk into a room, and when you pass through the door, you get cloned a certain number of people. But when you leave, you go back to being yourself. So if I had the room had a two outside of it, I'd walk in and there'd be two of me. If I walked in and there was a five, I walk in, there's five of me. So I can take a bunch of paperwork and go in there, and there's five of me, and we can all grade papers and be done in one-fifth of the time. And when I have time to leave, pack up the papers, we all walk out the door and whoosh, back down to one. So the reason I'm using this example is when we're going through a cloning facility, there's a certain number of us. There's a group of us. Five. When we come back out, we come back out as ourselves. So let's look at the examples. Remember, this is a two. We don't see it, but it is a two, square root. So when we look underneath the radical, we want to look for groups of twos. So obviously an X walked in and got cloned. There were two of them, X squared. So when they walk back out, it becomes one. Now let's think about the y's. Another way to look at the y's is like this. And you don't have to, you know, write it out like this, but here's a group of two, here's a group of two, and here's a group of two. Okay? So, how many y's walked in? y squared. One for each group. So, when this pair came out, they became X. When this pair came out, they became Y. And when this pair came out, they became Y again. So we have Y squared, and that's our answer. No radical left. This one, again, you don't have to do this, but maybe at first you write them out a lot. And then, and, 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 and. Group of three, group of three, group of three, group of three. So, these three decide to leave. They come out, M. These three come out, N. Another group comes out, that's a second, N squared. And when this one comes out, we end up with N to the third. So you think of them as coming out in groups. Now, in this case, number three, we have M, 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 N, 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 N. Well, the two M's can come out as an M. These two can come out as an N, and then a second group and a third group. But this one little M is stuck inside. Maybe was a, there was a malfunction, and there's an the extra one left inside. So we have m n cubed times the square root of m. Okay, four. Again, you don't have to write these all out, but at first, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then c, 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 four, c, 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 eight, c, 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 twelve. This is a bit over the top. We'll talk about how to do a shortcut once you get comfortable with this. So I need four A's, but I only have one. So he's definitely going to be stuck inside. Now, there's four B's. They're going to come out. 
three B's left inside, so that's B cubed stuck inside. And then C, one group, two groups, three groups. And that's our answer. Now, if you can think about this quicker than writing these out, let's stop think about division. Let's go back to number one. If we take this two, divided by this two, there's our one. Four divided by two is two. On number two. Three divided by three, one. Nine divided by three is three, and so forth. So on number three, three divided by three, one. N divided, six divided by three, sorry, N divided by three wouldn't work, but it's two here, sorry. So two goes into three one time with one left over. Six divided by two is three. I think I threw myself off with this three right here. So one, obviously is stuck behind, but seven, four goes into seven, one time with three left over. Four goes into 12, three times. And that's a quicker way that you don't have to write them out all the time. So let's think about number five. This is kind of a tricky one. In here, we have a 50, and we have an x minus one, an x minus one, and an x minus one. Well, 50, we talked about yesterday, breaks down to the square root of 25 times square root of 2. Well, let's incorporate the new idea. We have 1, 2 groups that can come out. So the square root of 25 is 5. We can bring out this x minus 1 group. Boy, something's going on my board. don't know what is happening. It's like possessed. Let's try it over here. Five. Then we're going to bring out, nope, still happening, x minus one. Believe me, that's x minus one. Now, what's left inside? Well, the two is still stuck inside, and yes, that is a two. And then x minus 1. Because this one got left behind, and this 2 got stuck inside. But that is simplified. Okay, cube root. So I'm going I'm to deal with my number separate. 128. I looked back at my list. Cube root. Which of these numbers goes into... 128. Well, I start at the top. You know, 125 definitely doesn't. Then I check 64. Does 64 go into 128? Sure it does. Cube root of 64 times the cube root of 2. And the cube root of 64, you look back at your list, here's 64, the cube root is 4. So the number just simplifies down to 4 times the cube root of 2. That's the number part. Now, the letters. Again, I look at the A's first. 3 goes into 4 one time. How many are left over? An A. 1. B, there's 3 of them. 3 goes into 3 one time. And I don't have to put these 1's, it's just for showing you. And C, 3 goes into 5, one time, with how many left over? 2. So now we just kind of clean up. What's left on the outside? Well, we have a 4, A, B, C. This is the third power. What's left inside? The 2, and an A, and a C squared. And that is our answer. And it may not look simplified, but mathematically it is. Okay, fifth root of 64xy. Well, we don't have the fifth root on here, but let's add it. That'd be 1, that'd be 32, 
2 times 16, 81, that's 243. And we can go a little bit further with 32 and go into 64. I know there's not room, sorry, but there you go. This is the fifth root and the sixth root. So let's see what we have. We have the fifth root of 64. Well, 32 goes into 64, so we can rewrite that. The fifth root of 32 times the fifth root of 2. That simplifies to, remember, the fifth root of 32 is 2. So that simplifies to 2 times the fifth root of 2. Now we're going to look at our letters. Our X's can't come out because there's only one of them. So that's going to stay inside. Now my Y's, I have 9 Y to the ninth. It's a 5 on the outside. 5 goes into 9 one time. So I'm going to erase this to move it over a little bit. I'm going to bring the Y out. 5 goes to 9 one time with how many left over? Four. And it seems confusing, you will get this. You get used to it. Okay, remember this is square root. Well, the square root of 16 is four. Well, what do we do? Because we already have a two out there. Remember, this is two times the square root of 16, a to the fourth. All right, so what's the square root of 16? Four, so that's two times four, a to the fourth. Well, remember, this is a 2. How many times does 2 go into 4? 2 times. That's 2 times 4 times a squared, which simplifies, obviously, to just 8a squared. And you do not have to write out all those steps, just showing you for teaching purposes. Last two. Here we go. I have a negative, but that's okay because this is odd. So the cube root of 8 is negative 2. I'm just going to bring that out right now and deal with it. I'm bringing out this as a negative 2, which is going to get multiplied by the negative 3. That gives me 6. I'm going to give myself some space, put this 3 here. X's, well, 3 divided by 3 is 1. There's one group of 3. 3 goes into 5 once, with how many left over? 2. And I did not need that much of a radical, and that's my answer. 6xy times the cube root of y squared. Okay, 18. I can bring that, break that down as the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. 9 is a perfect square. But remember, it's 5 times that. And don't forget the m cubed. Well, square root of 9 is 3. Radical 2, this is a 2 out here, we're going to have an M and an M left over. Now we just kind of clean it up. 5 times 3 times M is 15M. And what's left on the inside? 2M. Like I said, we'll have a lot of practice on these, it will get much easier.